Nice little black crappie. Hey, Gary Dahl on here with Bobby Girl and Crappie Baits. I want to talk to you just a second. It's late evening. I'm taking advantage of an opportunity to fish a little bit before dark before I got to get to the house. And I'm fishing with the Bobby Garland Mo Glow Glow in the Dark series. Little black crappie. A lot of fun. This bait in this series serves a real purpose for low light conditions like this on into actual dark of night, but it can also work well during the daylight hours too. So follow me on to the house where I'm going to talk a little bit more about the series, the history of it, why glow in the dark baits work like they do, some of the science behind it, and the reason behind our colors and our names in this series, and a few tips how you can be more successful in using the Bobby Garland Mo Glow Glow in the Dark baits like this electric chicken glow. Come on. So I've got all of our Moglo products out here on the table in front of me now. Any of our Moglo products are identified as such. So at retail, if you see this header on a product, that is our Moglo Glow in the Dark series of baits. Now our jig heads are packaged like this. They're under our Crappie Pro brand, and you'll see the little banner that says Moglo heads. These are our glow in the dark heads. We have an accessory item called Moglo Slab Jam, which is this. It is a glow in the dark formulation. It has holographic flake in it. It's a gel, so a lot of different attributes for that particular product. The most appeal to all of this is the fact that you have a glow characteristic. Now, these are all made with a phosphorescence. That means that it receives light, it holds the light, and then it continues to emit a glow afterwards for a while. That differs from fluorescence in where a fluorescent product is one that reflects light, but the minute you remove that light source from it, it goes dark. On these baits, once you remove the light source from it, they continue to glow for a while. And obviously that glow depends on, one, the type of charge that it had, how much of the phosphorescence super glow powder is in the product, and then just the general conditions of, you know, of, of the environment itself. So let's first talk about our Mo Glow soft plastic base because this is um, a series that we introduced in 2010. So we've had them out for several years now. We've added colors going along. So we have a total of 14 in our Baby Shad series. That's, that's the most colors in the Moglo in any one of our product series, but we do have a few in all of our different products. So let me run through these real quick. We have Blue Ghost, Monkey Milk Glow, obviously no doubt where that color comes from. Electric Chicken Glow, kind of the same thing there, you know, one of our most popular colors. Ghastly Minnow, it's a light chartreuse over a glow belly and this comes off of the popular combination of chartreuse and white. Then we have the straight glow product which is just your phosphorescence powder in a plastisol. Green Lantern is one of our newer colors. It has a non-glow back and a chartreuse glow belly. Devil's Grin has a red back, a chartreuse glow belly. Outlaw Special, you know you gotta love lime and chartreuse, that's what this color represents in a glow product. Pink Phantom has a pink back with some small black flake in it over a glow belly. Screamer is a version of our very popular bluegrass color, but Screamer is our glow version of that. We have Sunrise, which is a light orange back in a light yellow chartreuse glow belly. We have Sunset, which is a light blue grayish back over a light orange belly. And we have the shadow. Now this has a black non-glow back, but a glow belly. And then Twilight is our glow version of Vegas. So it's a very colorful bait, even in the glow version. And all of these, just as they are right here, obviously are great colors, whether they are glowing or not. And that was important to us as well. But what we've done in the laminates where the body is one color and the back is a different color, we have provided contrast. That's an important part. You know, crappie have huge eyes in relationship to their bodies. Probably the biggest relationship of eyes and bodies of any of the freshwater species. So vision is a very important part of when and how they feed. 
So we key in on that particular sense with these products, playing off of the hues to get contrast, body to belly. We provide an overall shape with the glow from that. And then certainly we have the color perspective too. Now, your best glowing light rays are ultraviolet rays, the UV rays. The sun emits those. You have different light sources that you can do to charge these baits with. But any light source will charge these. And let's put a nice glow on this bait. I got my light shining directly on it. And you know, this is what you can do if you're fishing in low light conditions or at night. Just really shine that thing up here. And then when you remove the light source, you can see how that bait continues to really shine. Look at that little tail get with it. That's why glow baits have a real place in crappie fishing. You know, crappie are super active at night. They're really uh, active night feeders. So if you're missing out not doing some night fishing, you need to start looking at that. And certainly in the winter time, that comes into play very heavily too. All right, a little slab jam. Let's give it a great big old check mark of approval here. Nice glowing product. All right, let's back on. So, you know, with our jig heads, they're made the same way. They all use that super phosphorescence glow powder in the formulation product. So we have five colors of glow in our jig heads. We have glow orange, chartreuse glow, blue glow, pink glow, and ghost glow. So five really popular colors in non-glow, as you see them here, but all of these have the glow characteristic to it. Now I know this, uh, this black light doesn't do the product justice. You can't really capture, you know, well on video the color that I'm trying to show here with the low light conditions, but at least you can see some of the contrast. So let's run through these with the glow color showing just so you can see which ones are again by name. So I have here on the very top, this is the, the Blue Ghost, Monkey Milk Glow, Electric Chicken Glow, Ghastly Minnow, Ghost Glow, Green Lantern, Devil's Grin. Come back to the top on the opposite side, you have Outlaw Special. You have Pink Phantom, you know, your pink and your glow bait. Screamer, this is that, that version of Bluegrass. You have Sunrise, you know, you got a good glow there from both the orange and the belly on it. Sunset, you got a really good contrast going on with that uh, kind of that light gray back now in the belly. The Shadow, this was something I talked about in, you know, providing some, some separation in shades. So again, a non-glow black back with that pearl glow chartreuse belly. And then Twilight is the glow-in-the-dark version of Vegas. And then obviously the jig heads right here, they show up quite well. And, you know, the top one is the orange, chartreuse, blue, pink, and white. Now, just straight plain white fluorescent powder has kind of that, that green glow tint to it. So a lot of your whites are going to have more of that, that yellowish, greenish glow than just a pure white to it. So let's turn the light back on again here, then we'll talk about some of these baits in the tank, and then uh, we'll try to wrap things up. Okay, let's take a look at uh, four baits in the aquarium here. I just kind of selected at random. On the left is the regular Ghost Glow. Next to it is Green Lantern. The next is Electric Chicken Glow. And then there on the far right is Monkey Milk Glow. So let's turn our light off, take a look. And again, I've got the same white jig head on all four of these. So it's kind of got that uh, light blue to pale green look to it. But on the far left, again, this is a regular ghost. Kind of get a look at what that bay does. And one thing you, I want to point out is how straight these crappie pro jig heads hang these tails. And that's really important when you're crappie fishing. Next is the Green Lantern, and as we talked about with the lights on, this bait 
has a non-glow back and a glow belly. So you can see the contrast that that creates with this particular design on it. This one is electric chicken glow. Obviously that bait really lights up well. Uh, you can see the orange back, the pink back that turns orange in the dark, and then the, uh, the green chartreuse belly on that. And then finally monkey milk glow, which you know, it's pretty much a white bait. It's got that same greenish glow tint to it. So just uh, a quick reference as to what those baits do in the water and the fact that I've got UV light shining on directly. Pretty cool, huh? Bobby Garland Moblo Products, a really cool glow-in-the-dark series, whether the lights are on or off, that has really taken on a life of its own.